This topic is called linear pairs and vertical angles. Um, they're one of the basic things you need to know as before you really dive into geometry. Um, so we're gonna just kind of talk about that. Let's see. What, let's draw something like that. Um, we'll start off something you know fairly simple, I guess, and we'll kick it up in a minute. Um, so we have two lines that crisscross or intersect. Um, they create four angles. I'm just going to number them one, two, three, and four. I could put letters around all of this and label each angle with three letters, um, but because I want you to get the point pretty quick, it's easier just to do the numbers. All right, so linear pairs are, let's see, and you want to put this in your notes. They are angles that are, ready for this word, adjacent to each other. Adjacent just means next to. It's another word that um, math problems like to throw out at you. Um, you might as well get used to hearing it. Um, if you don't, then you're getting assessed on the MCAS or the SATs or a math placement test at college. If you haven't seen it before, you're just not used to using it, it could freak you out and throw you off your game. So just know that adjacent means next to. All right, so linear pairs are angles that are adjacent to each other that create straight angles. All right, that is kind of loaded. Um, when I use the word straight angles, that should like send a little flare off in your brain and go, oh, oh, wait, what do I know about straight angles? Straight angles are angles that are 180 degrees. So it's telling you that uh, two angles that are next to each other that create 180 degrees are linear pairs. So if we look at angle one, it is a linear pair with angle two. They create a straight angle together. I kind of like to do this to show it. Some of you guys are like, wait a minute, Howard. Angle one could also be a linear pair with angle four. And you're absolutely right, totally. Angle one and four also create a straight angle. Um, similarly, we could say that angle two is a linear pair to angle three. So that's just something that you can keep in mind. Um, while I'm talking about it, since we were talking about straight angles and we're talking about 180 degrees, I might as well bring up this other word. Uh, some of you guys might have seen it before. Supplementary <clears throat> excuse me, angles. And that's two or more angles that add up to 180 degrees. More angles that add to 180 degrees. So if we look at angles 4 and angle 3, because you can still see those on the screen, we can say angle 4 plus angle 3 has to equal 180. What we're kind of doing here is the basics of geometry is we're setting up uh, a lot of vocabulary, trying to create um, relationships with words. So if I tell you that angles are supplementary, I want you to think something like this. Oh, I can add them up and set them equal to 180. Because what's going to happen is the geometry that we're studying is going to bring in a ton of algebra. And eventually we're going to take some problems and we're going to have some kind of an expression for angle 4. We might have an x in it or something. And then we're going to have some kind of an expression for angle 3. And that's going to have an x in it. And we're going to need to know how to set up an equation to get that x so that we can solve for x. And this is the equation that we would set up. Um, I'm getting ahead, a little bit ahead of myself, but I'm just trying to lay the foundation of where we're going. All right, so that's linear pairs. They're just angles that are sitting next to each other that they create a straight angle. That's basically it. Let's talk about vertical angles. Let me scroll up here. All right, I'm going to just draw two lines again that intersect. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, we'll number them up again. Um, vertical angles tend to be people's favorite. I don't know why. Um, and so vertical angles, um, two angles that are non-adjacent, that means not next to each other. Again, it's, a, it's not the nicest word, but the reason why I'm trying to use them and get you guys used to them is because you're going to see them again. When you go to take a, a, math, uh, a formal math test, they're going to use the vocabulary. Two angles that are non-adjacent, um, um, and I like to think of it more informally as they're diagonally across from each other. So put that in your notes. So if I'm talking about angle 1, it is vertical angles to angle 3. So angle 1 and angle 3 are vertical angles. 
that also means that angle 2 and angle 4 are also vertical angles. So we have two pairs of vertical angles whenever two lines crisscross. One reason why I think people, I said earlier that people tend to like vertical angles, because it's not that exciting yet, right? But the thing I haven't said yet, which is pretty cool, is that once you find some vertical angles, whoops, I want to move this guy up. There we go. Once we find some vertical angles, you know what we can immediately conclude is that they are congruent or equal to each other. So we could just immediately say that angle 1 is congruent to angle 3. That means that their measures have to be the same. And we can also say that angle 2 is congruent to angle 4. Um, so that's a huge stepping stone when we go to start doing some geometry problems. Like I said a minute ago with our linear pairs, we learn how to set up equations. It's the same way. If I knew that angle 3, if they gave us that it was 3x plus 4 and they gave us angle 1 was 7x, how, and we needed to find x, we would set up an equation like 7x equals, we get rid of the congruent sign, we're talking about numbers now, 3x plus 4, and then we would solve it all out to get x. But like I said, the, the vocabulary that we're learning now is trying to help us make conclusions when we see a picture, logical, valid conclusions, that will then perhaps help us set up an equation which we can then solve and find a value in that problem. All right.